okay um, um, in tcp ip uh, we looked at a cyclic redundancy check we looked at four error correction codes like hamming codes uh, but error correction and detection is a job of a link layer okay but what about if the data is traveling from application layer and then going to transport layer and network layer what data link does it performs error correction and detection and add these bits which are error correction or detection bits when i need to transmit that to an unreliable medium like for example wired or wireless but what about uh, error correction while this transmission is within the layers how do i check if the error has occurred or not um, so the way we do it is using something called an internet checksum All right so we're going to look at an example of something called an internet checksum we're going to look at a simplified example not simplified is actually a good example on how to do it uh, just for the sake of simplicity i have just uh, made a tcp header and as we know that when the data is traveling from application layer then it goes to transport layer then network layer then data link then physical layer and then transmission through unreliable uh, medium uh, so this is an example of a tcp header uh, the reason i'm just showing you this uh, because if you look at this header closely you have source port you have destination port you don't have ip yet because ip is a job of a network layer then you have something called a sequence number you have some other stuff i i I don't want to bother writing it down. You have something called window size. The thing that I'm interested in is actually TCP checksum. And this is what we're going to learn in this video, how we actually calculate checksum, internet checksum, uh, which is going to be 16 bits long. So, so let's say I have a data that is coming in. So I have a 16 bit of data. So I have two data set. One is 0, 1, 0, 0. I'm going to write it like... Uh, apart so we can see this one zero zero one then i have one 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 zero one zero zero let's say i have one sixteen bit of data and then sixteen bit of word then i have another sixteen bit of word and that is one zero 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 one one zero one then i have zero 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 one and then i have one 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 zero let's say i have two 16-bit word and i need to find out internet checksum so what i'll do uh, when my data is coming from application layer from a top-down approach i'm going to look at my data and i'm going to take a checksum and i'm going to include that part of the header that's what i'm doing so how do i actually compute that uh, so we get two two 16 bits of data the first thing we're, we're what we're going to do we're just going to add them up we're going to do binary addition so the first step is binary addition so we're going to perform addition and as we know binary addition is quite simple uh, what is zero zero is zero what is zero one one what is one one when i'm performing so just remember it one one is just going to be zero then we'll have a carry over here okay so one one when i'm doing binary addition one one is going to be zero one and it's going to get a carry there so here i have zero i have one here so one one same thing zero here carry here but what about if i have one 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 so i'll for one 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 i'll get one over here one carry over here okay so then one one i'll get zero and one 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 i'll get zero and one 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 i'll get zero and one now i have triple ones one plus one so i'll get one over here one here what is zero and one it's just one zero and one 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 zero one zero one is one zero zero is zero zero one is one zero one is one so this is going to be my binary addition so the first thing that i need to do i need to do binary addition let's say if you have a scenario like this where you would have uh, one one here so you'll get zero i have no other place to give a carry so what i'll do i'll bring that one and i'll add this to this expression okay 
So what about if I get a scenario like this where instead of getting 0, 1, I got 1, 1. So 1, 1, I'll put 0 here in same thing as addition. Then where do I have, where do I need to take that carry which is there because I have no place to put that carry. So I'm going to bring that 1 and I'm going to add to the rest of the expression. I'm going to leave that 0 here and I'm going to bring 1 down here and I'm going to add this. This is, how am I this is how am I going to do it. All the rest will remain the same, only these, this value will change. Okay, so once I do that, uh, then I'm going to take one's complement. That's it. That's how simple it is. Simple it is. So one's complement. So what is one's complement? Wherever I have my zero, I'll replace that with one. Whenever I'll have my one, I'll replace that with zero. So this data, this would turn into one. This zero, one will turn into zero. This zero into one. 1 and this is going to be my checksum so the first step is going to do uh, to, to do what you'll take two 16 bit words or any two word you just or eight bits whatever it is just for the sake of simplicity i've take, taken 16 bits because the checksum of tcp and udp header both is 16 bits so you take two 16 bit word and just simply add them up if you get an additional carry at the end bring that zero out and add one to it all right and then you will take the one's complement so let's do an example of this we when when i have my additional carry additional so let's do an additional carry Let's say I end up with a situation something like this where do, where I get let's say instead of this I'll get one over here Okay, so if I get one over here, what do I do? I have zero here. Where do I have carry? I have no place to carry this so I'm gonna bring this one over here. I'm gonna do simple addition So I'm gonna do this addition right over here So this is going to be what is zero one? It's just going to be one Isn't it? zero one is just going to be one and there is nothing there if you even put zero there everything will remain exactly the same so if i even add zero here everything will remain the same so i'm going to bring the rest down as is zero zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero one zero this is going to be my new word all right when i have a situation like this that at the end instead of zero I had one and one plus one is actually zero and I have no place to carry. So no place to carry. I'm going to bring this one and I'm going to add it. So zero plus zero um, uh, addition with one is just good me one and all these are rest of the rest of them are just zero. So anything uh, added with zero will give you the same thing back. So once you have this scenario, once you have done this, you're going to do one's complement. After one's complement, you're going to do one's complement. So this, what turns out to be zero zero one one zero one 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 zero 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 one zero one zero one, and this is going to be your new data. So I hope you like the video. Uh, leave uh, if you need any help. Uh, leave uh, uh, comment it. Let me know.